Hey everyone, in this video we are going to look at the Mighty Mouse Generation 5 Plus Catch Can. So that was a little quick, so let's just slow things down just a little bit here. And we're going to take a look at this new catch can in detail. We're going to talk about it, take it apart. And this one here, uh, the Mighty Mouse 5th Gen, or 5 Plus, I guess, uh, has a super center. So it's a different insert, so they've really designed the can a little bit differently. And I think it's a great thing. Now, just so you know, this video is not about whether or not you actually need a catch can, because there's a lot of engines that will only run with one cylinder head. And I'd like to thank Racing Paint for that clip. So big plug for Racing Paint. That was a really cool clip. Thank you for filming it and thank you for letting me uh, share that with my viewers. Anyway, let's unpack the box uh, at a reasonable rate and we're gonna take the can apart and I'm gonna tell you what I think you should really get when you order it. So let's take a closer look. All right, so here's how the Mighty Mouse can actually comes. So here, here, here's the can itself. There's how it comes. Here's the, uh, I guess the top breather port, if you wanna call it that. So I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna look at it a little more closely when I take it apart. But basically this is what I ordered. I also ordered uh, the bracket and that's uh, because it's gonna go on a Corvette Z06. So that's the bracket. Now here, I must say, okay, uh, listen up here. If you're gonna listen to anything, get this tool. I really think you should get this tool. And the reason is the way this new Gen 5 Plus can works is when you have to unscrew the top, it is actually quite tight. I know you might be able to use like a, a rubber, I don't know, some type of rubber mitt or something like that. But this tool makes it really, really easy. And you know what? I'm not just saying that. It's not that expensive. I forget what this tool is. I think it's about 15 bucks, but definitely it's worth getting this tool because you, you know what? With this tool, you can just, you put it on and then you can just undo it just like that. And once it's tight, like I said, it's really difficult to get on uh, or get off. I don't know if the old cans are the same, but this new 5 Plus, uh, you actually gotta push the insert down. So let's take off uh, the can and let's just see what it, what it looks like. So we're gonna use our tool. Once it's loose, it's fine. Then what we can do is we can just undo it. Okay, so there's our lid. And then here is uh, that center. So that's sort of the super center part. And then this is obviously our breather. Now I'm gonna take off uh, this piece right here, just this plastic piece. I'm gonna take it apart and you can see here, it's uh, this port here, it's a little bit tight. I push down like this and look, I can spin it very, very easily, let up, and then it, it is tighter. So there is pressure on this. So to, in order to take the ports out, it's actually a good idea to screw this on and just apply a little bit of pressure to it. You don't need a, a bunch, but it'll just, it helps with the threads. And then now this will be easier. We can sort of screw it in until it gets easier. There we go. Look how easy that is to remove now. So let's, uh, I'm gonna take a different angle with the camera because I actually wanna take it apart now and show you uh, how it is inside. All right, so nice close shot of it. So now, now you can really see. We're gonna get up nice and close, guys. So there's our drain, sight glass, and you have the two ports. One's an inlet and one is actually an exit. Did you blow into it? Now, now that I've screwed this in a little bit, like I showed you, I can actually take out these things here. So we're gonna take out the ports. These are A and 8 fittings. So we're gonna take out the other one right here. There we go. And now you can see there's the entry where it's uh, full of its, I, I guess, stainless steel mesh. And there's uh, the outlet. Now how it's different from the other one, you can see, I didn't tighten it up too much there so I can undo this with my hand. It's not very tight, but there's a close up of, uh, of the wrench there. So it actually does work really, really well. Okay, so, and actually you can see here while I'm doing that, just so I don't forget, you can turn it and clock it different ways. So depending on how you have it mounted in the car, you can have the inlet here, the outlet here, or the outlet and the inlet. You just gotta make sure you turn it the right way so it doesn't really matter. It's it's quite an interesting design, this new can. I do, uh, I do like it. So there we go. And you can see how that fits on just like that to push it down. So we're gonna take this off just like so. There we have our outlet, outlet, and our inlet. So let's take a look at inside. So we got a whole bunch of mesh that's packed very, uh, very tightly actually. Let's see if I can pull it out. There we go. 
So we got a whole bunch of mesh. That's the bottom of the can. And you can see there's our, uh, our sight port. There's my finger there. And there's our two holes here. So there, that's the mesh. And actually that's pretty cool how uh, the mesh cannot really sit in, um, in the bottom of the oil. If you drain it regularly. I mean, obviously if you drain it, if, if you let it run a little higher, the mesh is gonna be in the oil. But normally um, this part here will be on its own because it's got that plate there. So that's kind of neat. I didn't know that existed. I like that. I like that because I drain my uh, catch cans all the time. So mine are drained basically almost every time I fill up with gas. I'm, I'm always checking my car on the weekend. So let's put that mesh back in there. Let's talk about this. So here's the new super center. That's what they call it. And these are on the five plus. So it goes in through there, comes out through, uh, through here, gets trapped in the mesh. And then the vacuum, because here's your outlets, one right there, one right there, you'll only be using one, is going to pull the air back up. Here's sort of a drip ledge. It's going to come up again, and then it's going to go through there, back into there, and then here's where this piece here is going to sit. So that's how it's going to exit. So that's pretty cool. And if the can builds up any pressure, uh, it just comes out the top here because the top here just goes on like so. And then you have your, your one-way valve and you can see there's the, there's the one-way valve right like there. And then this will push on uh, all the way. I, I don't want to install it now because obviously it's not ready to install, but you can see this will just push on just like so. So that's how that piece goes. So let's talk about this orifice a little bit. So how does GM regulate the flow? They have a one eighth inch orifice, okay? That's fixed, it's underneath your blower. If you take out that plastic piece underneath your blower, it is uh, one eighth of an inch. So this I'm assuming is going to be very close to one eighth of an inch, maybe a tad bigger just to allow for a little bit of pressure drop and we're, we're carrying everything a little bit further. Let's see how big it is. And we're at 0.15, so we're slightly larger. So that's fine. So that's how they, that's how they regulate it. Geez, sorry for bumping the camera there, but it's just so close to my hands. But anyway, so that's how it's regulated. So when it says self-regulating, it's just a hole that's drilled in it that's similar to the size that GM uses to regulate the airflow. So make sure if you install this, whatever you do, get the Mighty Mouse uh, diverter because it's full flow. If you put uh, another company's restrictor in there or another brand, it may have a restriction and then you'll have two restrictions in your system and that is not good. Your engine's not gonna operate properly. So what I'm gonna do now uh, is I'm gonna have to install it. I'll do a video on that. I'll be installing it on the Z06 and then I'll be uh, running it and, and we'll be checking its performance. So, so that's it for my video. Hopefully you all take care. Stay safe out there. I know uh, I need a, probably a haircut. It's just this COVID. I haven't even been able to get into the hairdresser so I'm looking kind of poofy up there. But anyway, soon, soon. Uh, take care and we'll talk to you again. Thanks, bye.